In today's lecture, we will study about the database connectivity. Actually, we will take a MySQL database and then connect it with the help of PHP and then we will be we will access the database contents and do some operations on the database in the web page. So the main uh, objectives of uh, this tutorial is uh, to let you be able to learn the database connectivity with the help of uh, PHP application and then selection and displaying data from the database in the web pages then insertion of new records into the database and also deletion of records in the database the main purpose is to let you understand that how can we work with databases while we have a php application so these are the contents the first thing is uh, prerequisites what do we need for performing these things or what do we need for developing a php web application uh, so when we start we must also do some checks so we will check the local host and also the php code whether the php code is executing or not and also whether the uh, local host is working or not also we will check the mysql server so these things must be ensured and after that we will connect a database in the code and then uh, perform the select statement and do some selection from the database and display that data on the web page and after that we will execute insertion query on the database table and at the end we will perform the deletion operation on the database tables so in the prerequisites we need uh, apache server to be installed in our system the best way is to install xamp uh, XAMPP is a complete package. You can get many things inside this XAMPP. Once it is installed, you will get uh, Apache Server, MySQL Server. Also, you can get FTP, etc. There are many things, and uh, you can easily manage all these things. XAMPP is freely available. You can get it from the internet. Just Google it, and you will get the download link for XAMPP. Then you need uh, the code editor or IDEs. So there are various uh, code editors available and most of the code editors are freely available so you can use visual code notepad plus plus sublime text stream viewer netbeans eclipse etc it's up to you that which type of code editor you will like you can check these all on the internet before we start first check the local host and my sql server running or not and then uh, we will execute a sample php code to confirm the working condition of our system so first for localhost i must check xamp control panel so here you can get the apache server running suppose it is not running then you can run it from here you will find start button so just click that start button and it will start running uh, in uh, XAMPP control panel the mysql server is giving error on my system actually i installed workbench with the mysql server earlier so that's why that installation is not allowing XAMPP to start my sql because the port is already blocked by that installation so anyhow i don't need uh, this uh, my sql under xamp that is working well anyhow if you have not installed workbench then you can use my sql from here so here i will check uh, workbench workbench we can open our connections the connections are working we can check our connections here i'm using this first connection and test connection it's working i can see all the databases here under my connection so the local host and my sql server both are running on my system now we will practice 
that sample code of PHP in Dreamweaver. You can use any type of text editor. In my system, I have installed Dreamweaver for this purpose. So I'm going to Dreamweaver 2020. Now here I need to create a site for me. So manage sites and then new site. I'm giving a name to this site like uh, lab work. Lab work and the files of this site will be stored. C drive, E drive, sorry, lab work. We will also create a server here. You can create it now or later, both are possible. So I'm saving it will ask me for servers later done this lab work has been created now I need uh, to create a file so right click on this site and new file its name is test.php this file has been created double click it now it asked me for the server so to view the pages containing server site code you need a testing server so for that purpose we must add server you can also add this server in the previous step like uh, we did here the site name and local site folder so that time we could also create server now here uh, under server click this plus and give a name to this server let's say lab work and it should be localhost so for localhost I must type localhost here and the folder for localhost with XAMPP is note this thing for localhost we must browse to the location where the local host has been installed so inside local host you will find HD docs select this folder for the local host and now this server has been created save it now here we have the code and this one is for preview so inside body I'm typing a sample code save it control s the output appeared here you can also check this in a browser so here right click on test.php and open in browser select a browser Welcome. So it means that PHP is working on our system. The local host is running, and also we checked the workbench, it was also working. So we concluded that my SQL server is working too. Now let's try a loop. So here I'm typing for variable i equals to zero. Uh, less than 10 and 
by plus plus and here let's take number i save it control s it's working i think i should We can also check it in the browser. It's working, it means that we can execute any type of PHP code here in the Dreamweaver. For database connectivity, we can use MySQL I extension or PDO php data objects both are possible uh, before 2012 it was mysql but now it has been replaced with mysql i i is used for improved so uh, both can be used it's uh, upon you and uh, actually uh, mysql is particularly used for the MySQL DBMS while PDO can be used for 12 different database systems. If you have to switch your project to use another database, PDO makes the process easy because it has support for multiple databases. Uh, you only have to change the connection string and a few queries while if you are using mysql i you will need to rewrite the entire codes including queries both are object oriented but uh, mysql i also offers a procedural api both support repair statements repair statements are protected from sql injection and a very important for web application security the first one is a mysql i object oriented in this we need uh, an object to create the connection so this object actually requires three things the server name username and password we can use three variables for giving these three values to the mysql i object so you can also type the values directly here and instead of using variables uh, usually uh, we work on local host because the database and all the dbms is on our system so definitely we will use local host for this purpose then the username which we use to connect our databases and the password which was stored for these usernames usually uh, we use root for connecting our mysql server once you assign values to server name username and password after that you need to create the object co double end connection you can give any name to this object so it must take these three values the object has been created after that we need to check the connection so for that purpose we have an f statement uh, this statement will determine whether the connection has an error or it has been successfully created now now here we have the code for database connectivity first we need localhost and then the username it is root in our case and then the password the password is 123456 so after that these three values will be supplied to co double n the object and with the help of f statement it would be checked that whether this object is working or not so if there is no connect error then we will get connected successfully so we can save it it's working connected successfully now suppose here i type 
wrong username and now we will check what will happen control s we got error due to this connection failed so connection failed x is denied to root one at local host you can also use mysqli procedural code to connect a database this code is somehow similar to the previous code there are some minor changes the first one is that we used mysql i class and used a new keyword to create the instance of this class here we are using mysql i connect it is a function and it also takes three parameters and this function returns something to co double n and inside the f statement we have also some minor changes if you compare it with the previous code you can use any of these two codes next is pdo pdo can be used to connect a different type of uh, dbms actually uh, it has support for 12 different dbms so this code can be used to connect a database actually here we are connecting uh, mysql we can also connect uh, microsoft sql server for that purpose we must type sql srv here and if we are going to connect ms access then we must type odbc here to connect ms access database the rest of the things are same we will have a local host for host and also we must provide the database name here in last case uh, we didn't provide database name then a username and password in last cases uh, we used f statements to control or to check the errors or the exceptions and here in this case we are using proper try and catch blocks for exception handling so once uh, we create uh, this uh, co double n after that we work on the exception handling so for that purpose we use the object operator it is used uh, in object scope to access methods and properties of an object it is uh, meaning uh, its meaning is to say that what is on the right of the operator is a member of the object instantiated into the variable on the left side of the operator instantiated is the key term here uh, this uh, c or double n allows us to access the main pdo object here we have two things the first one is uh, a double t r error mode and the second one is error mode exception so the both are used for exception handling the first one is used for error reporting while the second one throws exception basically we are getting the pto error mode attribute or control error reporting to raise a pto exception that tells us what went wrong when it goes wrong so with the help of this code we can connect our database with our application by using php and in case there is an exception or error then we will get connection failed plus a message of that error generated by that exception once the connection has been created it must be closed so if you are working with databases then definitely you will create connections for databases and once uh, you operate or you perform all the operations on database it might be a single database or multiple databases so you must also close the connections at the bottom of the document or at the last of the web pages so here for mysql i we use uh, this command to close a connection for procedural this was for object oriented for procedural we have uh, somehow similar code and for pdo we put null in the connection object 
Now here for closing this connection, I must type the object. It was C O double N, so it is already given. I must also use this dollar sign with it, and then the operator that close. So with the help of this code, the connection will be created, and it will give a message whether connection is failed or successful, and after that the connection will be closed